Hey everybody, welcome back. Let's follow a little girl. I know this is an unexpected request, but I need you to take care of my berry field. Unacceptable. One berry can produce more berries. You'll love field work. No. <laughs> uh, I guess you say, so. You should have just said no. Mm, I don't know that, this. I feel that's like this is my a, grandpa. I I feel like there's something not on the up and up about this. It it doesn't help that something looks off about this. Uh, this 35 year old grandfather. I I I don't know. Something doesn't seem quite right. So, he works on a berry orchard, right? Mm-hmm. Why is he more pale than me? Why does he look like Brian the Insomniac? <laughs> <laughs> like, Sprinklotad. Is that a water bucket? Yeah. Like a watering bucket? Yeah. Yep. So relieved. My back has been killing me lately. You and me both. Did I ever explain why I have a lacrosse ball stuck in my back? You said that you did, and I think you were about to explain it, but I don't remember you explaining it. There's going to be two whole days where the whole audience is like, what the fuck was with that lacrosse ball thing? Oh, shit. I said the fuck word and the shit word in the first three minutes. Fucking uh, shit. God well, fucking damn it. <laughs> well, well, the gloves are off. Yeah, gloves are off. Terrorism. <laughs> <laughs> we live in the house at the corner of the field. I figure... And he's just gonna leave me to do all that, okay. Right, so the lacrosse ball. I'm sure you guys are interested in the lacrosse ball. You know, I've been trying to fix my I, I really for wish a long time. that you'd uh, you just move on to the next topic of conversation instead of like actually talking about the lacrosse ball this time. <laughs> we set it up again, but just not do anything with it. Legitimately, I almost forgot again. I'm not gonna <laughs> lie, like I would have forgotten probably. Um, no, I, there's a lacrosse ball between my shoulder blades because uh, it forces you to stick your sternum up, which helps correct your posture. It's a good way to keep your posture straight if you're sitting down in a chair, or at least to help build up good habits. So for a little while, I'm going to have to do this, uh, but it's helping a ton. My, my back feels a lot better than it used to, either than the temporary awful pains of, uh, you know, there's a lacrosse ball forcing my back back into place. And of course, you need to do this alongside like a whole bunch of stretching and a whole lot of like proper exercise. You can't just do a lacrosse ball on your back and expect you to stand up straight. Put three berries in and you can make mulch. Helps the berries grow. Oh, it's to reuse some of your useless berries. Okay. Uh, I'm not going to do this yet. Oh, Miracle Seed. That's a cool find. Yeah, it could be good on Badoo. Yeah, I was gonna say, uh, Rosalia, Roserade, whatever. It could use it. I'm sorry, not use give? Item... Oh, it is use give, okay. Would would that start teaching it the move? Okay. Yes. I was gonna say, it's a weird menu to be able to do that on, but I guess there's no reason for it to not do it, right? Mm-hmm. Give. Yeah, I guess it never really made sense before that you had to pick between give and use when, like, every item can only be used one way or the other, as far as I can think of. Also, can I say replacing the bike with, uh, just a thing that you can instantly slap on, like, rollerblades, was a really good idea. You say replace, but the bike is actually in the game still. There's oh. no point to it, but... <laughs> oh! <laughs> uh, I don't know if I borrowed the Pokey Flute or if I'm just gonna keep it. Snorlax can be grumpy when it wakes up. It might attack. So you can um, actually catch Snorlax if you want. Oh, yeah, sure. Now, I'm guessing if I don't catch it, it's going to wander off. I think so, and it's the only one in the game. Oh. Well, I might miss well, out on this. I didn't save. I may be wrong. I didn't do my research beforehand about this one, so it may be the only one in the game. It may not be, um, but this is, like, the chance to catch a Snorlax. Okay. I'm going to open with a sand attack. I just don't know how tough he's going to be yet, you know? He's got his eyes closed, so you wouldn't think it would work. I forget. Does Snorlax have a an ability that prevents uh, paralysis, or am I thinking of a different normal type? I think he would get rid of paralysis with rest, wouldn't he? 
Yeah, but I'm wondering if he has something like Limber. Mm. I don't remember his ability. Uh, he has immunity or thick fat, so he can still... Um, mm. Yeah, he can still be paralyzed. So Badu would actually be a good choice here to get a stash affliction on him. Okay. Now, I know that... Um, oh, he's finally hitting. Nothing. I know that... Um, I'm blanking on what I was saying. Now, Thick Fat is awesome. What is immunity? It prevents them from being poisoned. Okay. That's fine. I had no intention of poisoning him. And I'll lower his attack by, like, one stage. Just because. I want to see what it looks like. Fun fact, uh, Zangoose has the ability immunity because he always fights with Seviper. Makes sense. Okay, so his special defense and defense have both been buffed. That's good. Less chance of accidentally killing him, I guess. Although I'm sure I'll have to hit him quite a bit. Which, I mean, I'd rather that than accidentally taking him down. Oh, come on, he hit? Okay, not much. That's not how you lick. Oh, I could use Worry Seed. To change his ability. Yeah, I guess there's no reason, is there? What does Worry Seed change them to again? Insomnia? Insomnia, so they can't sleep. Wow, I keep missing Man, this. Man, it's like the, the sand attacks have been working against you as opposed to working against him. I know, right? Come on. There we go. Now, he's got real high special defense by this point. I don't think it's even worth keeping him out. Yeah, switch back to Furyu then. Sure. And then you can just chip away at him. Yeah. He's got some buff defense, but you can like headbutt him over and over and hope for paralysis or flinching. I'm a little worried about crits, uh, but we'll yeah, see you'll how be it fine. Goes. Hope so. There we go. Paralysis kicking in. Or was that just an idle an- No, that was just an idle animation of him being paralyzed. That's cool. Okay. Okay, we just gotta keep headbutting him in the gut until he capitulates. Might take a second. Any minute now. We are making him flinch a lot. Oh. You- He's Barry. Motherfucker. Uh, it was just an Oran, though, so we good. I thought it said it was um, a citrus? Just a citrus, though, with his massive attack, so we good. Yeah. Uh, massive, massive HP, health, excuse me. Yeah. It's, it's not much compared to his, his max health. I mean, it is a lot just because he has um, a lot of defense right now, I guess, but whatever. We're not in danger. Okay, I'm getting a little paranoid of a crit, so I'm actually going to switch for Tackle. I really don't want to miss out on my chance if this really is the only Snorlax I can get. Which it may or may not be, we're not sure. Okay. Red that health, be good. paralyzed, I don't see a reason to hit him anymore. I'm going to use, uh, Great Ball. Could have used the Net Ball. I could have used the Net Ball, but it wouldn't have worked. God damn it. What you think? I'm gonna use the great ball and it's gonna work. <laughs> oh. Go -huh. Why did my computer make a Windows something connected noise when I did that? Don't know. That was weird. <laughs> That was on my end, not your end, audience, by the way. Just so you know. He's six foot eleven? Wow. Whoa. He doesn't look it. <laughs> <laughs> he looks tiny in this game, actually. Yeah, such is the case with most of these 3D models. Like, if you look at Waylord, for instance... Oh, did they have to scale him down, like, massively? Yeah, like, people pick on Sword and Shield for that, but uh, the Gen 6 games kind of started it. Okay. Yeah, at least Sword and Shield with Waylord does, like, a decent job. Makes him somewhat bigger than everything else. Uh, in the overworld, yeah, but not in battle. Well, yeah. So, I want to get for you a haircut. Where do I go to do that again? 
Lumio City. I don't remember where, though. Lumio City. Have we been there? Uh, yeah, yeah, it's the, the one with the Paris. weird camera. Oh, okay. Sorry, I'm still trying to remember the city names. I still have a hard time with a lot of the city names in Gen 5, even. Something about when they started naming it after, like, clouds and stuff like that. It's harder for me to remember. I've been waiting for you to go into Route 7 for, like, the past, like, five episodes. Ah, eh, wake up. There. Sorry, I was just switching to the waking him up mode, because then he smiles, and that's probably a good thing. Route 7's out here, right? Yeah. Route 7! We're doing it! We're finally doing it! What's up here? Yeah! Doesn't matter. Heal ball. That I'm gonna use to catch whatever the fuck you're looking for on, on Route 7. Okay. So, Brandon, tell us what new encounters we can expect here. Gutsman! No. Get out of here, Gutsman! Trevs? Oof. Did you know that this is the daycare? Did you know that Pokemon have the sex? Is there something wrong with that woman's face behind the counter? <laughs> with this emulator, yes. It looks like she's doing something very stylish with her stubble. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what's going on. She's got some kind of like chin and a little bit of jawline, like dyed black stubble. It's very confusing. A bold look for a woman, but let her do what she wants. <laughs> A new addition, like an egg. If you carry an egg, it hatches. Did you know that Pokemon come from eggs? Maybe I will. You can't tell me what I will and will not do. I don't want to think about the wouldn't. fact that Pokemon come from eggs. Yeah, what's with that? It's a whole lot of mammals giving a whole lot of egg births, and that's weird. Yeah, like a dog coming from an egg? Yeah, there's... <laughs> well, that's the thing is, they don't even, like, acknowledge that they're breeding. Isn't it in, like, every game they're like, well, they just happen to hang out together and then we see an egg one morning. Also, what the fuck is that thing on the left? That's Lit Leo. We haven't seen him yet. Are you sure it's not Yukiki? I'm pretty Wait. sure it's not Yukiki, but you never Leo. know. <laughs> it it really looks like Yukiki got a dye job on his fur, and also he's tripping balls. He's also got a mohawk. So is he a monkey, a bear, or a monkey bear? He's a lion. He's a lion. Look, whatever the fuck that monstrosity is, I want to catch it. Also, is this cotton candy? Yes, this is cotton candy. It's well, swirling. I'm going to have to catch that too then. <laughs> Yeah, Swirlix is X exclusive. There's a different fairy that's available on this route in Y. Yeah, that's Spritzy. I, I think I've heard of the evolution of this thing, but I don't know what it is. You know, like I feel like there's like there's like ten percent of a memory rattling around in there somewhere that says you know the evolution. You'll recognize it when you see it. You know, this, Swirlix this is, is actually. Is actually a Pokeball Pokemon in Smash. A Pokeball Pokemon? Oh, you mean, uh, yeah, yeah. It. When you throw the Pokeball, in the okay, yeah, I got you. Yeah, yeah. Uh, if you walk into him, he'll uh, slow you down. Okay. Yay! I assumed it was fairy. As sticky as cotton candy. It can't be evolved unless you trade. Well, I know what I'm not bothering with. <laughs> uh, so do these different patches of grass have different Pokemon? Uh, Just different colors of Flabebe, I'm pretty sure. Uh, <laughs> sorry, I... Okay, if I ever just start laughing to myself and nothing funny has been said, it's because I thought of a joke so dumb that it made me laugh before I even considered saying it. Uh, I'm cray cray for Flabebe. <laughs> oh, that's my new hit single, everybody. <laughs> so, by the way, uh, Ilumise and Volbeat, 
Um, I don't remember which one it was, but one of the two was an absolute bitch to use. Because I, I used them once in an Emerald playthrough. Or an Emerald challenge. One of them has erratic experience gains, and the other one has the other thing that's like a synonym for erratic. Uh, one of them is a good thing. It means it requires like way less experience to get to level 100. Like it requires 60% of the regular experience to get to level 100, which is crazy. Um, it's cray cray, the, as you said. The other one though requires the most experience in the franchise to get to level 100. Um, one of the leveling groups, I don't know if it's Erratic or the other one, but it's just fucking awful. It requires tons of experience to get to the end. I think it's usually like legendaries that have that or something, but for some reason, either Illumise or Volbeat has it, and I don't know why. Ooh, I kind of like that the camera goes out there. You know, just yeah. so you can admire. Get back in those oh. patches of grass, damn it. I was actually going to talk to that person anyway. I didn't know it was an actual trainer. That's kind of cool. Okay, I like Smeargle. You know about a hundred people ask me every single day when I'm going to do a Smeargle challenge? I would believe it. And your the answer, answer is never. Used, well, the answer for years used to be it seemed like... Uh, it seemed like... Uh, uh, Picaspery was working on one, uh, but then it just, n it's been over a year and it never came out. And in the early days when I was doing Pokemon Challenge, it kind of made sense to not do it because he was about to do it. Because like, you know, I was kind of the new guy coming into this whole Pokemon community thing. And I don't want to want to really step on any toes, so I'm just going to do my own thing if it looked like he was about to do that. Uh, but then now I think I'm the guy most known for Pokemon Challenges, at least from what people tell me and what other Pokemon YouTubers are telling me. So I guess I may as well just go do it. It seems like he's not interested in doing it anyway. And honestly, I always just say, I don't care if you do the same Pokemon challenge as me, because yours is going to end up differently anyway. I No one's ripping me off. I don't give a shit. I teach people how to do Pokemon challenges. I did a whole tutorial series teaching people how to make it as easy as possible. I just want people to play the game and have fun. Uh, so yeah, I might do a Smeargle challenge sometime soonish. So there's your official announcement, everybody. I'm probably gonna do a Smeargle challenge somewhat soonish. I don't know in what game, and I don't know if it's gonna be a team of Smeargle or one Smeargle or what. Cause Smeargle sucks, but his gimmick is that he has the most robust move set in the game because you can kind of tailor make it to be anything. Uh, it's just hard. You gotta find the right Pokemon to actually do it. Oh, I forgot about this place. The Battle Chateau, famous place. Famous for being a place where trainers gather to improve their skills. I used to come here a lot when I was level grinding. Is it a good spot to grind? Yes, because uh, you, trainers will spawn in every few minutes or so, and you can keep fighting them uh, as you keep like entering and exiting rooms. Okay. Uh, and then you can ask the hosts of the chateau to write letters of invitation or challenge to improve mm -hmm. the levels or the rate at which, or sorry, and the rate at which they show up. So um, you can fight trainers that you've met before, reaching up to, I want to say, the 70s in Ooh, their level. That's good. Yeah, and a number of the trainers actually have a team of Audinos, so that's just really good for experience in general. Wow, yeah, that's... That may be the best grand grinding spot right there that I've ever heard of. If you could fight up to level 70 with a bunch of Audinos, like, in a trainer battle, too, where it's, like, a little more consistent. You're not, you know, waiting for shaking grass. That's the worst. Yeah, it is worth noting that it's only a specific type of trainer that will have Audinos, but you mm -hmm. can tell which ones they are because they're wearing, like, a kimono or a furusode or something like that. Okay. Also, confusion is the worst. So, I'm curious, one of you guys, look up Volbeat or Illumise, look up the lev the experience leveling group on them. I'm curious, which one was the good one and which one was the bad one? Because I know one of them is like you level up really slowly in the beginning, but you acquire way less overall, and that one's pretty good. But then the other one's just you acquire an unbelievable amount of experience by the end. Uh, crits more often. Volbeat has an erratic leveling rate. 
So Illumise has fluctuating leveling rate. I know, right? Erratic and fluctuating. Don't they sound the same? Leveling rate. Relation to level, erratic. Duh, 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 duh. Yeah, look for where it says the total experience you need to get to level 100. Features the lowest level 100 value for experience at only 600,000 points. So I think it's the fastest to get there. Which one is, sorry, erratic? Yeah, erratic seems to be the fastest based yes. on what I'm reading. And then the slowest uh, is the other one. Yeah, Glo it grows the slowest of all, reaching level 100 at a whopping 1,640,000 experience points. Yeah. Yeah, that sucks. That sucks so bad. Also, I didn't I didn't bother with the with that move cuz we already have slash and slash is a better version of it. Um it does mean that we don't have as strong of a flying move, but our flying move doesn't miss and I kind of like our type coverage, so I didn't want to replace anything. Okay, I'm I actually happy with our team. We haven't run into the Pokémon I want to see on this route. How common is it? It's a 10%, which is low, but yeah. But there is a 5%. So. There's a 5% of what? The different Pokemon is a 5%, which is lower. Ah, so there's two different ones I'm looking for? Well, there's one that I want to see. Two that are kind of cool. Okay, well, we'll be back in the uh, grass right after this fight. They're just Smeargles. They are pretty weak. I like the gimmick of Smeargle. It's a shame it's so weak. I guess it kind of has to be, though. The ability to potentially have any four moves you want is pretty strong. Your favorite Gen 5 Pokemon design is in the game in these flowers. Is it Ducklet? It is. Now, here's the thing, though, that I, I always have to point out. Ducklet, when you look at, like, the watercolor paintings and everything, is awesome. Ducklet in Gen 5 looks terrible. Oh, Smeargle. Damn it. Kind of figured Smeargle would be here. Just because, yeah. you know, trainers with Smeargle. Um, Duck, Ducklet who is who I want you to find. Ah, uh, is that the 10%? Yeah. Ah, uh, he sketched me. Isn't that permanent? What do yep. you take? Tackle? Uh, Boo. I'm, I'll still catch him. I love Ducklet. I love Ducklet outside of Gen 5. In Gen 5, it just looks like a cartoon duck from a different video game. It looks fucking terrible. <laughs> but whenever I see, like, watercolor pictures of it and stuff, like the official art, it looks awesome. It looks full of personality. So we'll see. We'll it see how still, Ducklet is in this game. God damn it. It looks pretty bad in this game. Oh. If we catch a shiny one, though, it'll be pink. That's not better. <laughs> I, like, I like pink, but I don't need my Ducklet to be pink. Obligatory remark on how Ducklet and Swanna only learn water and flying moves by level up. Sorry, who only learns what? Ducklet and its evolution, Swanna, will only learn water and flying moves leveling up. Oh, okay. That's a random thing to bring up. Yeah, I, I was bringing it up because I feel like someone in the comments would have brought it up as well if oh. I hadn't. Okay, so it just has lots of, so it's got lots of stab. Yeah. But also no variety. Man, are you kidding me? Did you see that? Smeargle's a tough cookie. Yeah, apparently. I had no idea. Oh, thank God. Yay. Hold on, where's the... Go <laughs> uh, It never gets old to me, the pottery break. It helps that uh, half the YouTube shows I watch, you you hear it in like the background too, because I watch uh, stuff like Red Letter Media. They use the same, like pretty much any movie review show will use the same pottery smash because it's in so many movies. It's just, oh, I love it. You don't have a title? You're not nobility? Get out of here, peasant! Oh yeah, that was the, the Gaim leader. Mm-hmm. 
might I ask your name? Big League MDB. I was really hoping they would go with the nickname and not the <laughs> the actual name. Uh... Well, if you say you're Big League, then I guess you are. Would you like this mansion? <laughs> I'm a Baron. Oh. That's Baron how League MDB. Oh my god. Okay, so if I'm a Baron, I own a castle. That's what a Baron means. You own a Barony. Yep. The title of Baron or Baroness places you at the lowest rank of nobility. <laughs> okay. Not, not actually, <laughs> but okay. Uh, Baron's not fucking bad, actually. Uh, you own a fucking castle. The local city has to pay you tax. I can't remember what the hierarchy of uh, levels in this chateau, like how it goes. I know Viscount I th is after Baron. Um, Duke is like at the very end. I believe that a I, I believe that a Viscount would be, like, in real life. That's not quite a count, isn't that an interim count? Like. It's not going to go down bloodlines. It's not hereditary. It'll go back to the... Or would that be a vice count? I'm, I'm not sure on that. Viscount is the one that's spelled with an S. Look, it, it depends on the country here. Uh, it depends on the, the country and the time period, I guess. Yeah. Big League MDB. Yeah, sure, I'll have a battle. On the next episode... Whoa! Oh. Uh, let me just. Okay. <laughs> 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 <laughs>